As we know, Roblox Doors within its newest update has added in tons of new secrets. I mean, we literally went over 125 plus of them on the channel recently. But did you know that there are actually several secrets that are actually way darker than we've realized? These are the darkest secrets in Roblox Doors. What do you think about some of these? Comment below your thoughts and you better like and subscribe or else your Roblox account may just be deleted like the developers group did. Number one, mystery meat? All right, hear me out. I kind of messed up when calling these giant piles of blobs within the rooms of the hotel poop. I actually ended up getting a message from Redables that day the video went up and they made it super clear that it's not poop by any means. I honestly thought it was because of all the flies buzzing around, but I had to concede as Redables was one of the creators of the game and darn it, he didn't play a major role behind the lore of the game. It wasn't after a little bit more digging within the Doors Wiki page, more specifically, right onto Wowzers, one of the lead contributors for Roblox Doors' profile, where they did reply to Snowy Piranha on a couple questions. More specifically, number two, regarding if the brown stuff was supposed to be flesh or, uh, poop. And Rousers did clarify that this is supposed to be a meat-like substance laying around the hotel. Hold up! Meat-like substance? You're telling me these giant piles within the hotel are somehow related to spoiled meat in a way? Well, it may just be. If we talk to El Goblino, one of their messages does state, Oh yeah, that macho meat dude came in here a while ago, almost destroyed the place. Oh man, calm down. The wiki does state that this may be a reference to figure, but if Wowzers is pointing this out as a meat-like substance, there may actually be another new entity that is in the form of this mystery meat, most likely to be revealed for Floor 2 once it comes out. This is definitely a darker secret than once discovered, but huge thanks to Redables for putting us back on the right path once again. Number 2, Starvation. It doesn't take a genius to know that Bob essentially is a dead skeleton, is just chillin' within Jeff's shop. Okay, so what exactly happened to Bob and why is he here? It's not like the developers just dropped a skeleton from the sky and added it to the game. Well, if we do talk to El Goblino, once again, they do mention several statements on this topic. First, they did mention that Jeff does charge quite a bit for food in order to survive in the hotel. And Goblino does mention that they have to scrounge around the hotel in order to collect enough gold to feed himself from Jeff at their shop. But what is the biggest message that Goblino has said regarding about this? Bob needs to eat something, man. Recently, he's been looking like a bag of bones. Real cry, too. El Goblino, did you play in a part of causing poor old Bob to starve to death by stealing his gold coins? It could actually be a possibility. Maybe the goblin isn't as honest and friendly as they claim to be, especially during some messages where he claims to smell gold in the player's pockets and begs for coins during the process. Something fishy is definitely going on here, and it's not Bob Stench. That is one thing for sure. Number three, religious? This may be quite the controversial topic, but we did have to bring it up at one point or another. But with the introduction and addition of the crucifix into Roblox doors, many players within the community have thought about this item pretty deeply when it first came out. The crucifix, as we know, is one of the symbols of Christianity, a widely practiced religion in the world, and many players have thought that the game was taking a religious turn, especially when it came to crucifying entities and whatnot during the gameplay. You know, Kind of like crucifying demons back to the underworld per se. It gets crazier, especially since Redables, the co-developer for Doors himself, openly states on their Twitter account that they are a Christian. But we'll stop you there. 
Incredibles did specifically mention that just because the crucifix is in the game doesn't mean that it's going in a religious direction at all, as it will remain mostly secular other than inspiration and would be all original as well. Many do still think it's some type of a dark secret reference, but with the official message being said, there shouldn't be any more doubt about that. Number 4 Nightmares It does seem a bit funny, but many of the events within the Doors Hotel doesn't actually come directly from the developers themselves, but rather through their sleep while they were having nightmares. Don't believe me? Well, let's see. Only those who watched the true origin of Screech video a while ago would know that Redables actually had a nightmare about the empty and modeled them just a week before the game was even released. With the only difference being that the entity in the nightmare had way more arms. This would consider to be the true version of what Redables dreamed of in that nightmare, which is pretty scary. Yet another nightmare reference which helped form Roblox doors also comes from the newly added dupe doors, which of course features dupe, one of the newer entities to be added into this latest update. The creation of the multi-door concept was yet another nightmare that came over from Redables as they tweeted again saying, that it was one of their worst nightmares of going back to their hotel room but accidentally opening the door to the wrong room. It's why they always pay attention to make sure it's their room number. And well, that just translates to dupe being added into the game thanks to yet another nightmare. I guess our brains are really that powerful if you really think about it. Number 5, Jeff. Now I know what you may be thinking, Captain, Jeff is super friendly, I mean just look at that smile whenever you buy something from him. Yeah, that's exactly what he wants you to think. Even El Goblino mentions that you shouldn't try to steal from Jeff because he will make you pay, should call him Jeff the Killer or something. Now, aside from the meme itself, is El Goblino implying that Jeff actually oofed a person at one point within the hotel? That could actually be a possibility. You have to keep in mind, Jeff is a shop owner and since they are also selling food to their entity friends, such as Goblino and Bob at one point, doesn't that make Jeff selfish for not allowing them to survive without spending gold? It just really makes you wonder the real picture here. But what other dark secrets have you heard about in Roblox doors? Let us know down below and of course, take care.